so family this is my finished coconut soup done a different way and when i say yes i like soup and not a lot of food On today's episode of the Jamaican cooking journey, I'll be sharing with you one more time how I make some cocod soup. I think I have one video there and I made it in a different way. And I'm gonna make this same soup, but I'm gonna do it, you know, a different version. As I said before in that video, I don't use a lot of food in this soup. Because actually when I say soup, I want soup. I don't want a lot of food. So the one that I made before on the channel and all the other times that I make it, I don't really put food, but I'm just going to put like some sweet potatoes. You could put what you want. If you want to make it into a food soup, you can make it into a food soup. Huh? And I'm going to use all of these okra. And I like a lot of okra. And you know, yeah, cocod is a little thingy thingy part of the cow. You know? Yeah. And in Jamaica, we use it to make soup. I guess you can stew it too. This is what it looks like. This is properly cleaned and washed. You see it? It didn't come like this. It had so many little, you know, little parts that I really, me really didn't eat. So this is properly clean, gone through everything. And I have used green lime juice, fresh green lime juice and hot water to clean it. So this is how mine look. You gotta soak it first and let all that bloody water and all of that, you know, so. This is all mine. So what I'm going to do now, I want to get it all seasoned up a bit. I am going to be, not a lot of seasonings, and you know the first thing is going to be garlic for me. I'm going to grate some garlic and some ginger. Add a little salt. I'm going to put a little cayenne pepper. And I'm going to put a little burnt sugar on there. And I'm doing all of this. Yeah, grating my garlic. And I'm going to grate now my ginger and I'm gonna come back to you so I use five pegs of garlic just a little piece of ginger I didn't use all because you don't necessarily need a lot of ginger in this I'm gonna put it like about this is less than a teaspoon of salt I'm gonna put a little cayenne pepper So if you don't know what it is, just Google it. We call it in Jamaica, cow cod. Yeah. And right in here, I do have some cloves and a little dried rosemary. Yeah. But you, if you're doing yours, you season it, season it with what you want. I'm just seasoning it like, just low-key season. I'm going to just grind it out. This is what I got. Right in on it. Cloves and dried rosemary. So onto this now, I'm going to add about a teaspoon. This is burnt sugar. So I'm just going to rub it together. Remember, I'm making soup, you know, and I just want to do it this way. And I leave, I think I leave at the end of this video, insert that other one. And you can look if you choose to make it. I just want you to have it a little, the color turns slightly. So I didn't want a lot. But you can use your browning, you can use soy sauce. This is just what I'm doing, okay? I'm just going to rub it up a bit and let it stay there. Not no particular time. It's not cook, my cooking meat, brown string chicken, leaving it to soak. I'm just going to be just doing a little thing as I'm going to make in this straight from the start in my pressure pot. So I'll catch you in the next clip. So this is my little oil in here. And I'm gonna gently just hold it down low. And just, I'm gonna start at a scary part of it in the pressure pot. Just to get the seasoning, you know, go through it with the heat and the little seasonings that I use. Yeah. We're gonna leave it for maybe about three minutes i'll come back and stir it around and i'll catch you in the next clip okay so i'm sauteing it off getting that little brown color this thing is pretty chewy it talks 
it, it's really tough. You know, I told you what it is. I've, I cooked it before, but I'm just doing it differently. I'm more, it's always mellow and nice. And in our country, yes, some people are going to say, you, we don't eat that. I know, but we do it in Jamaica. In fact, the men love this soup. Women too. When it makes soup, women love it too because it's considered a kind of strong back too. Hmm? Yeah. So, yes, I'm going to add in some pumpkins. This is about three pounds of pumpkin. Now, you know how pretty it is. But that's what is happening. And I have here some hot water and I'm going to throw it right there. Because I told you I'll be using my pressure pot. Cut this thing up. If you try to cook this thing, it will take you hours. Eh? Yeah. So basically, you know, my tell you all the pressure cooker thing go. The water for just barely cover your, 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 your stuff where you got having your pressure cooker. I also want to put with this a piece of fresh thyme. I'm going to put it in there and I'm going to cover my pressure pot and leave it to pressure until my meat is like almost tender. And I'll catch you at that point. So guys, I've opened my pressure and you see how my meat look? It's almost cooked. This meat is very chewy, but it holds up as it cooks. It have, you have to cook it really long or pressure it before it gets um, like all mashed up. Okay? So, you see my meat in there? You see all my meat? Yes, I didn't do the other one like this. So I pressured my pumpkin out because I wanted to get, you know, I was just doing it like this seemed to be a different way for me. And this is what is happening this is my pumpkin yeah in there i'm making some more hot water here this is my meat this is what it looks like let me show you and it's almost cooked i didn't want it to cook too soft because i'm gonna start souping up my thing right now okay and i didn't want it to have that white color i want it to have a brown color so there are so many ways you can do stuff you know so i am stirring to out my pumpkin so this is just my pumpkin and my meat and stuff right i have some dough that i made ahead of time and i showed it i'm gonna put some sweet potato this soup really doesn't call for a lot of food people put a lot of food but i honestly don't like it because it is but i just love it i just love the soup it is so gooey and nice when you get it to that level and if you have not eaten it if you come to jamaica try it from you know know who you're trying it from because this thing has to be properly clean before you can enjoy it so I'm just bringing everything here to a pea, uh, like a thick thing. Yeah, and I'm gonna get my flame back up. Yeah. Uh -huh. You see how I do this one? Actually, family, I'm doing this video right now and I cannot wait for this thing to ready because I am so, so into this soup. I love this soup. I've had it so many times and i so love it so you see i think the time before i did it cook the pumpkin part way and i blended it out in my blender but this time i just pressured it with it and then this is what is happening so at this point i am going to be putting in my little dumplings not a lot of dough this is just what i have so i'm going to be putting in some little dumplings it also will help to give the soup a little body so i'm just going to put in like these are a little bigger than pinners, so I'm just going to be putting in some of those. And you can see it's going to start. I'm going to start souping up right now. So my dumplings are going in, and in the next clip, I'm going to let my dumplings cook up because, you know, for me, dumplings take a certain time. So I'll give my dumplings probably about a 10 minutes there on their own cooking low in this liquid, and I'll come back to you. Okay, so this is what is happening. So actually at this point, I've removed my rubber from my pressure pot. So when I put it, cover it, there won't be any steam building up in here. So first and foremost, I'm gonna flavor this up. My, my little pinners are in, as you saw, from the prior clip. Yeah. And I think I'll need some more water, a little more, not a lot. Because this was only one kilo, two pounds. And I did, I think I reached down to about maybe a pound and a half because I did do a lot of cleaning because I don't want my stuff with a lot of like you know murky stuff on it yes I did a lot of cleaning so I'm about like about one and a half right pound right here now so you see that so this you know this 
noodle thing is gonna flavor it up I also am gonna add some fresh herbs but at this point no I think I'm gonna now prepare my sweet potato my dumplings have been cooking for a little time you can see how them look some people would say no the dumplings are ready but not for me so I'm on like lower than medium right now going down to low because as this cook and the pumpkin um, you know just softens it is gonna be thick I want it to be thick this soup is supposed to be thick and as I tell you I don't require a lot of food these are like some you know some people put a lot of food but that's just me I just like to enjoy the whole of these these things are very like jelly like when they are you know they have a certain taste it's nice and it's just gooey so I really don't like a lot of food so this is what is happening right now so in the next clip you see me putting in my potato pieces sweet potato you could add um, other potatoes Irish we call it Irish you could add yam you can do what you want to put a whole heap of food in there but this is just how I like it I'll catch you in the next clip so you see as I stir my pumpkin just start you know yeah so I normally wash my okras before I start cutting them off so I have about maybe a dozen or maybe about 14 and I'm gonna be just putting them like that you wash them as after you wash them you know and you start after you cut them like this and start wash them you're gonna feel the sliminess so I'm preparing my okras and I'm gonna put in my okras and these are my natural herbs I'm gonna put in some more thyme and some fresh scallions and then at that point, I'll come back to you. You see that boil? You see this boil? Wow. Yeah. Let me tell you something, man. This is going to be so good. So, at this point, this is what I like a lot of in there. Okras. Should I even have more to? I like the okra. It's going to take it to a different level. Yeah. And I have some scallions and fresh thyme. And I have chopped them and a green pepper, but I don't want my pepper to burst because I did season the meat with some cayenne pepper. I'm going to put a little more water. Mm -hmm. I hope you are seeing the body, the strength of this thing. I'm going to leave it right there now. Okay. So right at this point here, I want to put me in about a tablespoon of some margarine or butter if you please whatever you have just kind of say butter and margarine just make things taste nicer it have a little flavor there and that's it that's just it what I'll do now I'll just bring my flame down to the lowest and I leave it for another 15 minutes I might come back two times just to stir and yes I see that I need a little more water this thing is supposed to finish thick and nice in a family you know, supposed to finish and I run like River Nile, you know. This thing has stamina. Anything with name stamina, you know it not run up and down. Not true. Yeah, it doesn't. So family, this is my finished coconut soup done a different way. And when I say yes, I like soup and not a lot of food. This is what I mean. Okay, it's up just up to you. It's just your preference, your choice. Look at this. No one could tell it's coconut soup. And let me tell you, at this house, at this minute, my house is smelling so heavenly. I know how this thing, I taste it a little. It's so good, you know. And I am going to dish up some right now in your face. Remember when you are, you know, serving, you always put your soup bowl in a plate, presentation. 
it looks better look at this look at this goodness shoot them up on that hope they're seeing this very carefully if I like a piece of time get to a night nothing around man this is just this let me tell you something this is so good let's get some soup in and a little more cow cod look at that huh let me get some soup more soup in with some more cow cod what more could you want on a cold evening wherever you are it doesn't matter the day once you know what more could you want what more what more could you want from my kitchen to yours from my Jamaican kitchen to your family table to your plate and most of all to your stomach it is my coconut soup done a different way please do enjoy we need to clean our plate right there so let me just get that for you now that you have seen the preparation this is will be my second one i'm gonna leave at the end of this video the link to the other one click on it tell me which one you prefer you have to know about this soup before you can say something leave me a comment below all of my jamaican people i'm gonna know this you know help me to take our jamaican cuisine to the level that it is supposed to be remember to make sure you like this video remember to make sure you subscribe share it out okay and i'll catch you again with another video or on another live thanks for watching